plaintiff, Kendall Miller, says she's been in love with the defendant since she was 17, and they dated off and on for 10 years. Kendall claims the defendant was verbally abusive, and not only is she suing him for emotional distress, but she also petitioned the court for a DNA test because she claims the defendant suddenly started questioning the paternity of their child. Defendant Lexi Covington says he was always there for Kendall's daughter and never questioned paternity until the child was two years old and Kendall said the baby may not be his. Lexi recently took a home DNA test, but he agreed to take another test because Kendall accused him of tampering with the test. All rise. This court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Greg Mathis presiding. You may now be seated. All right, let's start with you. I've been knowing Lexi for over 10 years. We've been on and off. Um, basically he swept me off my feet. Um, he has a hold on me. I, every time we broke up it's because he went to jail or because we were in different towns. So he has a hold on you? Yes. Hey. I've just always been in love with him since I was 17 oh, years old. Oh, okay. Um, the last time we got back together was around 2003. And from there on we were on and off again. I was Why? in a relationship. Just verbal abuse, um, okay. always calling me on my name, making me feel bad about myself. Okay. Um, the last relationship that I was in, okay. he and came back into my life and immediately I left him just like that, just to be with you him. left the other boyfriend yes, just like that. So they couldn't get a hold on you? <laughs> Not the way he does. Not the way he did. Stop. You think anybody else is going to ever be able to get a hold of on course, you? Um, <laughs> of course. Of course. Okay. I mean, that was back then. I'm, this is, I'm talking about. When did he get? Feature. When did he get the hold off of? When he get the hold off of me? <laughs> uh, I would say. I'm concerned, after, really. I want you to move on. In 2012. 2012, that hold came the off hold of came me. Because right, you wouldn't have been suing him five years ago, because he had a hold on you. So clearly, yeah, there is evidence, sir, that you no longer have a hold on her, <laughs> because you are being sued by her. All right. So, since you all have broken up for good in 2012, what have things been like? To be honest, things have been okay. okay. Um, the final cutoff with us was the day before we laid his father to rest. Um, out of nowhere, he just springs up a DNA test that you can buy at a local store. And what he fails to realize is that the day that we had my daughter, when they come in there and ask you, do you want to do a paternity test? I said right up and I said, yes, we need to do it right now because you knew I was in a relationship before I got with you. I wanted to get it over and done with, and he refused the test. Yes, sir. All right. You give me some background, sir. Uh, okay. You know, I met Kendall a few years ago or whatnot. And when I first met Kendall, Kendall was a good girl. You know, she had a good heart. You know what I'm saying? And, and so, you know, I, I, I looked her back up on Facebook, and, and that's when I found her. And you so, found her? I found her on she Facebook. She was lost? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She was lost and she needed to be found by me. And wow. so, you know. See what I mean? Yeah. Well, you don't want to talk about he had he a whole gun. Okay. Yeah, That's man, what I'm saying. don't he, talk he, like that. that. Yeah, and you don't want to pull this advantage. chest out. Now he in there talking and he like that. that and ain't had a woman since. Go ahead. <laughs> Who? What's Just going on, go sir? ahead with your testimony. Okay, oh, so, so You're like... You're talking big, I'm talking you down. Okay. <laughs> I don't think you're as big as you say. I, go ahead. I, I can understand that, Your Honor. And so, when Kendall was pregnant with this baby, I drove up and down the highway. I tore up three cars just to go sing ABCs to her stomach an hour and a half away to this baby, four or five, You six. can't drive? No, I drove. I drove myself. You say myself. you tow up three cars, though. No, this, you know, wear and tear on the car up and down the road. Oh, wear and tear. Wear and tear you on say the you car. tow up. Yeah. That, you, I, that usually let, mean an accident. Let, let, let my mom spring explain it. You know, tore up my car going back Got and forth. Tore up cars. All right, so t 2012, the baby came. And so I said, okay, Kendall, I'm going to support you, whatever, you know. You want to go to school, I'm going to help you go to school, you want to go to work, you want to go do the CNA, I'm going to drive a whole hour and a half and watch this baby for eight hours. No you wonder know? he had a hold on you. He's a good man. You don't find too many good men like this now. 
You better go back to that hold on you. <laughs> go ahead, sir. I'm and liking so, you more and more. And so, okay. But we so, got to wait till we get to the end. So, okay. So, <laughs> so uh, for example, this, this, for example, this one I said she's a good girl. She done turned bad. And so her phone had got stolen. Oh, Lord. And so now Kendall Marie goes over and beats up a grandmother, a child, and a rock roller all through a screen door like this over a... Ten dollar phone from Lex. Don't do that, okay? I'm just saying. Don't do that. You you, you did that over a ten dollar phone. Okay, so I said because it was my daughter. Next day, and your point about that. The very is next what? day, I said I was going to give you an iPhone. My point is that Kendall was on five years probation, and, and then I'm holding his baby, and I wake up. It's three cops standing around me, and she and Kendall's like, Lex, get up, <laughs> get up. I'm going to jail. I'm like, what is going on? All right, let me yeah. ask you about the abuse she alleges, uh, the verbal abuse. Never. Look at it right now. I was trying to put me down. I've got something negative to say. That's not putting her down. Yes, this it is. is. You always got something silly to say. We, that's not what we hear about. We hear about... I never abuse uh, right, You being there for our daughter from I day never. one, and now all of a sudden it goes out of nowhere. You don't care. No, it's not that's like we, that. That's I'm why we're here. Kendall. I'm, I'm hurt, hurt behind too. the fact when that I told you, you fr- when we were in the hospital, you lied. we should have subpoenaed the nurse. She never said this in the Wait, hospital. Lex, come on I'm, I'm, I'm highly intelligent, man. If you would have told me that in the hospital, if you would have told me Lex, it was somebody else. Lex, you didn't sit else, there and say, the baby look like my, my mama. This, this look like my dad. This dad Lex all over this baby. No, I didn't. So I what did it. happen regarding paternity and parenthood uh, beginning this is with what, that day, okay, this, or uh, this was it wasn't suggested to be a part of the baby life. She, be quiet. I'm, she said <laughs> that she suggested DNA and you refused it. She suggested it, mm-hmm. but I said, Kendall, you said there was no other man. Okay, so you presumed it was yours. So what has happened since that time? So the baby was born. I'm still doing beating the highway up, take care of this baby and my own that I got at home. I've been raising. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm spreading myself thin I'm to be both of them, you know. And so Kendall came to me and we used to sitting on the couch and she was at my house and she said, uh, yeah, she's like, that baby don't look like you and, and, uh, and, and the baby ain't even yours. I popped up off the couch like, what? This baby ain't mine. Why would you say this after two years? So let's, what happened after okay, that? So when she that, said that, when that happened, how did you I lost my dad. The same, about uh-huh. probably two or three weeks later, mm-hmm. my hero. Kendall came down. She said, I want the baby to see the family. I said, okay. I said, I, I got that DNA test you said we need to do. So we Who did says it. this? Nobody. She did. I bought the DNA test myself. Okay. All right. We was mm-hmm. just down there preparing for to bury my what father. What was the result? And the results came back that the baby was not mine. Ooh, can we talk about the circumstances around that, Your Honor? Mm-hmm. Okay, so like I said, we got people in the house giving their condolences. We outside in the car, mm-hmm. me, him, and the baby. You just spring a test out of nowhere, mm-hmm. like just silly. Mm-hmm. That's not even what we should be concerning ourselves mm-hmm. with. And this is the first time that it has came up mm-hmm. to me that he's ever had any doubt. Okay. So what do you so think about the I results? I take the swab. I get the swab. I swab my mouth in front of him. I reach in the back seat. I swab my, our baby mouth. Now it's his turn. I don't need you watching me uh, swab my mouth. I was like, what is the big deal? I was like, you, you want to know so bad? Go ahead. Okay. Uh-uh. Um, just being around the bush. The Eventually, did I see him do it? No. I think that he sabotaged the test because okay. he don't like me and he don't want to be a part of our daughter's life. No, okay, life no so more. you believe the child is his? I mean, it's a possibility. Like I said, when, it, when, when me and him got back together, when me and him got back together in 2011, I was in another relationship. I was in a two-year relationship. So why are you acting like it's likely that that test was wrong? Because I'm just saying she... Because I'm saying that she favors him, she favors me. Okay, but you just said it's a possibility. Yes, and and he knows this. He's known this since day one. Your Honor, I never known this. I haven't uh, seen the picture of the other guy. No. Can't produce it. Never. She obviously doesn't look like him. I think she does. She looks like the other guy. They're both and bo- him. They're, they're both dark skinned. They both got right. full. This is television here. Hold on. <laughs> Your Honor, I have pictures of the baby if you want Let's to see. Let's see it, please. <laughs> Ma'am, come on. You need to come better than that. Show me a picture of the other man. I don't have one. And that's my other daughter that I've been raising for 10 years. On to the right? right? On the right. That's Easter. I got a birth certificate that he signed. He know he the father. Why are y'all taking me through all this? You had a birth certificate? Sir, you signed it? Under the rest. Mm. <laughs> what is your emotional distress for, ma'am, before we get the DNA test? What is your emotional distress? That he is all she knows. And to just cut her off at three, it don't matter 
with the test site today, I'll let you know from the gate whether he wants to admit it or not. I told him, he took me out of a relationship, came and got me from this man's home and helped me pack my things. That next month, what I was pregnant. What has he done to you to cause you emotional stress? It's, it's hurting my daughter. I don't know what to tell what her. Part is hurting. Me. What part is hurting her? Where's my father? Where's my daddy? Um, who he is, said he who comes, is this? When he, he hits me up on see. Facebook and she sees his picture. You say he comes to see her from time to time. Even no, that home. was back back then. He hasn't okay. seen her in a while. Okay. Um, All right. Let's see the DNA test. Yes, sir. Your Honor. I Don't start trembling now. And start, <laughs> yeah, I know, hold on before you bring that test. I, this is my mother right here, yes, right? Can I want to say, say something, something yes. please? Okay. State your name. Um, I'm Linda Covington, and I just wanted to say, Judge Mathis, it's a privilege and an honor to be here, and I'm glad to see Kendall here, and I just want you to know, Kendall, that we are all mothers when it comes to the final analysis of the day, and I just want to say that we've always loved that baby. Kalia has been a joy to us, and I love all babies, whether she's our grandbaby or not. I just want to say that we're going to love her no matter what. So, you know, you don't have anything to worry about, you know. You want to bring the baby around us? We're always glad to have K uh, Kalia around. Why didn't you take him to child support? I have uh, I'm, enforcement. I'm complying. You went to child support enforcement. Not received a payment, not even the card to Hold receive. Hold on. Do you have an order yes, I that do. he is to pay? Yes. Mm -mm. And what is that order? How much? Um, they have not given me an amount of what they think. So then you pay. don't have an I have order, ma'am. No, ma'am. You say you had an order. When I asked you to present it, you back away and say they haven't even told you how much he should pay. So I don't believe you. Just like no one should believe you that he is the father because he's not. Next if you pay any child support, take it to child support agency and get, get your money, money back. back. Have a good day. Kendall, I still uh, can I give you a hug, Kendall? Oh God bless you. Can you bring that baby around so you can have it. All right. All right. Friends, Kendall. Okay. Is. Kendall will always be my friend. We'll always be friends. You know that. And it's unfortunately that the baby's not mine. I just, you know, and I and I and I would like for the baby, the step father, to come step up. Kendall knows. And that's what he's going to do. He needs to step up. I mean, I concur. We've been debating this for so long now. We finally know. Finally know. And I appreciate you for being there for the time that you was. But you already know I'm not the kind of woman who want to go in your pocket and make you take care of something that's, that's not yours.